Shalom, family, most high in Christ, bless. I'm Officer Kyle here with Israel United in Christ, and we're here for another four chapters today. We're going to be reading the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1 through 4. All right, so brothers, go ahead, uncover your head. If your head is covered, and sisters, make sure your head is covered. And again, we're going to be reading the book of Jeremiah, chapters 1 through 4. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, and verse 1. The words of Jeremiah, the son of Hilkiah, of the priests that were in Anatha, in the land of Benjamin, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, in the thirteenth year of his reign. It came also in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, king of Judah unto the carrying away of Jerusalem captive in the fifth month. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord, God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Moreover, the war, moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, What seest thou? And I said, I see a seething pot, and the face thereof is towards the north. Then the Lord said unto me, Out of the north an evil shall break forth upon all the inhabitants of the land. For lo, I will call all the families of the kingdoms of the north, saith the Lord, and they shall come, and they shall set every one his throne at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem, and against all the walls thereof round about, and against all the cities of Judah. And I will utter my judgments against them, touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me, And have burnt incense unto other gods, and worship the works of their own hands. Thou therefore gird up thy loins, and arise, and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city, and an iron pillar, and brazen walls against the whole land against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth. The love of thine espousals, when thou wentest after me in the wilderness, in a land that was not sown. Israel was holiness unto the Lord, and the first fruits of his increase. All that devour him shall offend. Evil shall come upon them, saith the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, what iniquity have your fathers found in me? that they are gone far from me and have walked after vanity and are become vain. Neither said they, where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt that led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and of pits, through a land of drought and of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passed through and where no man dwelt. And I brought you unto a plentiful country to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. But when ye entered, ye defiled my land, and made mine heritage an abomination. 
The priest said not, where is the Lord? And they that handle the law knew me not. The pastors also transgressed against me, and the prophets prophesied by Baal, and walked after things that do not profit. Wherefore, I will yet plead with you, saith the Lord, and with your children's children will I plead. For, pa for pass over the isles of Chittim, and see, and send unto Kedar, and consider diligently, and see if there be such a thing. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, saith the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water. Is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Why is he spoiled? The young lions roared upon him and yelled, and they made his land waste. His cities are burnt without inhabitant. Also the children of Noph and Tephanes have broken the crown of thy head. Hast thou not procured this unto thyself? And that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God when he led thee by the way? And now, what hast thou to do in the way of Egypt to drink the waters of Sihor? Or what hast thou to do in the way of Assyria to drink the waters of the river? Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backslidings shall reprove thee. Know therefore, see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God. And that my fear is not in thee, saith the Lord God of hosts. For of old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands. And thou saidest, I will not transgress, when upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest, playing the harlot. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine, holy, a right seed. How then art thou turned into the into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me. For thou wash thee with nitri, with, with nitri, and take thee much soap. Yet thine iniquity is marked before me, saith the Lord God. How canest thou say, I am not polluted? I have not gone after Balaam. See thy way in the valley. Know what thou hast done. Thou art a swift dromedary traversing her ways a wild ass used to the wilderness that snuffeth up the wind at her pleasure in her occasion who can turn her away all that thou seek her will not weary themselves in her month they shall find her withhold thy withhold thy foot from being unshy and thy throat from thirst but thou saidest there is no hope no for i have loved strangers and after them will i go as the thief is ashamed when he is found, so is the house of Israel ashamed. They, their kings, their princes, and their priests, and their prophets, saying, To a stock thou art my father, and to a stone thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble they will say, Arise and save us. But where are thy gods that thou hast made? Excuse me. Verse 28, but where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise, if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods. O Judah, wherefore will ye plead with me? Ye all have transgressed against me, saith the Lord. In vain have I smitten your children. They receive no correction. Your own sword hath devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. O generation, see ye the word of the Lord. Have I been a wilderness unto Israel, a land of darkness? Wherefore, say my people, we are lords. We will come no more unto thee. Can a maid forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Wherefore, excuse me, therefore, Hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways? Also, in thy skirts is found the blood of the souls of the poor innocents. I have not found it by secret search, but upon all these 
Yet thou sayest, because I am innocent, surely his anger shall turn from me. Behold, I will plead with thee, because thou sayest, I have not sinned. Why gaddest thou about so much to change thy way? Thou also shalt be ashamed of Egypt, as thou wast ashamed of Assyria. Yea, thou shalt go forth from him, and thy hands upon thine head. For the Lord hath rejected thy confidences, and thou hast and thou shalt not prosper in them. Chapter 3 and verse 1. They say, if a man put away his wife, and she go from him, and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. Yet return again to me, saith the Lord. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places. And see where thou hast not been lying with. In the ways, in the ways hast thou set for them as the Arabian in the wilderness. And thou hast polluted the land with thy whoredoms and with thy wickedness. Therefore, the showers, therefore, the showers have been withholden and there have been no latter rain. And thou hadst a whore's forehead. Thou refusest to be ashamed. Wilt thou not? From this time cry unto me, my father, thou art the guide, thou art the guide of my youth. Will he reserve his anger forever? Will he keep it to the end? Behold, thou hast spoken and done evil things as thou couldst. The Lord said also unto me, in the days of Josiah the king, hast thou seen that which backsliding Israel hath done? She is gone up upon every high mountain. And under every green tree, and there hath played the harlot. And I said after, she had done all these things, turn thou unto me. But she returned not, and her treacherous sister Judah saw it. And I saw when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery, I had put her away and given her a bill of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not but went and played the harlot also. And it came to pass through the lightness of her whoredom that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and with stocks. And yet for all this, her treacherous sister Judah hath not turned unto me with her whole heart, but feignly said, but feignly saith the Lord. And the Lord said unto me, the backsliding Israel hath justified herself more than then treacherous Judah, go and proclaim these words toward the north, and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, saith the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thine iniquity, that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, and hast scattered, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers, under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you, one of a city, and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And it shall come to pass, when ye be multiplied and increased in the land. In those days, saith the Lord, they shall say no more, the ark of the covenant of the Lord. Neither shall it come to mind, neither shall they remember it, neither shall they visit it, neither shall that be done any more. At that time, they shall call Jerusalem the throne of the Lord, and all the nations shall be gathered unto it, to the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem. Neither shall they walk any more after the imagination of their evil heart. In those days, the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers. Excuse me. Verse 19. But I said, how shall I put thee among the children and give thee a pleasant land, a goodly heritage of the host of nations? And I said, Thou shalt call me my father, and shalt not turn away from me. Surely as a wife treacherously departeth from her husband, so have, 
so have you dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. A voice was heard upon the high places, weeping and supplications of the children of Israel, for they have perverted their way, and they have forgotten the Lord their God. Return, ye backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. Behold, we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord our God. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord our God is the salvation of Israel. For shame hath devoured the labor of our fathers from our youth. Their flocks and their herds, their sons and their daughters. We lie down in shame and our confusion covereth us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God. We and our fathers from our youth even unto this day and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God chapter 4 and verse 1 if thou wilt return O Israel saith the Lord return unto me and if thou wilt put away thine abominations out of my sight then shalt thou not remove and thou shalt swear the Lord liveth in truth in judgment and in righteousness and the nations shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall they glory. For thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground, and sow not among thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord, and take away the foreskins of your heart. Ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire, and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Declare ye in Judah and publish in Jerusalem and say, blow ye the trumpet in the land. Cry, gather together and say, assemble yourselves and let us go into the defense cities. Set up the standard toward Zion. Retire, stay not, for I will bring evil from the north and a great destruction. The lion is come up from his thicket and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate and thy cities shall be a land, excuse me, shall be laid waste without inhabitant. For this gird you with sackcloth, lament and howl. For the fierce anger of the Lord is not turned back from us and it shall come to pass. At that day, saith the Lord, that the heart of the king shall perish and the heart of the princes and the priests shall be astonished and the prophets shall wonder. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, surely thou hast greatly deceived this people and Jerusalem, saying, Ye shall have peace, whereas the sword reacheth unto the soul. At that time shall it be said to this people and to Jerusalem, A dry wind of the high places in the wilderness toward the daughter of my people, not to fan nor to cleanse, even a full wind from those places shall come unto me. Now also will I give sentence against them. Behold, he shall come up, excuse me. Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe unto us, for we are spoiled. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? For a voice declareth from Dan, and publisheth affliction from Mount Ephraim, make ye mention to the nations, behold, publish against Jerusalem, that watchers come from a far country, and give out their voice against the cities of Judah, as keepers of a field, and they are against her round about, because she hath been rebellious against me, saith the Lord, thy way and thy doings, have procured these things unto thee, this is thy wickedness, because it is bitter, because it reacheth unto thine heart. My bowels, my bowels, I am pained at my very heart. My heart maketh a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace, because thou hast heard, O my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled and my curtains in a moment. How long shall I see the standard? And hear the trumpet of the trumpet. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are saddest children. 
and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. I beheld the Lord, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I beheld, excuse me, I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. I beheld, and lo, the fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of the Lord. And by his fierce anger, for thus hath the Lord said, the whole land shall be desolate, yet will I not make a full end. For this shall the earth mourn, and the heavens above be black, because I have spoken it, I have purposed it, and will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee for the noise of the horsemen and bowmen. They shall go in thickets and climb up upon the rocks. Every city shall be forsaken and and not a man dwell therein. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting, in vain shall thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee. They will seek thy life. For I have heard a voice as a woman in travail, and the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child. The voice of the daughter of Zion that bewaileth herself, that spreadeth her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is wearied because of murderers. All right, that was the book of Jeremiah, chapters 1 through 4. All right, Shalom family, Most High in Christ, bless. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.